anyways, I am painting this tray today for my fairy garden. The little fairy house. I have two toad things, whatever they're called. Toad stools. Yeah, toad stools. Um, and today I'm painting the tray for the garden. It's going to be nice and fancy. So she's opening all of them so that I can get all of them without closing, opening, closing, opening, and so on. I'm going to be painting this whole thing except for the bottom. She already has paint on her fingers. No, it's glitter. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she does. So, I'm going to be painting with the colors I have, which is green, pink, purple, blue, orange, and yellow. I have used all of them before, and I'm ready to use them again. All right, I'm just going to get my paintbrush nice and wet in the water. Hold this paper towel down. No. Oops. Yeah. I did green. Yeah. This one is blue. My paper is all stiff. My shoulder hurts a little. So then don't do it when your shoulder hurts. It's, Wait till tomorrow. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to start with some beautiful green. <laughs> you need more paintbrushes? Yeah. That's not going to stay up. No. It looks like a flower, which I think is cool for a garden because it's the plate for a garden. And yes, it does come with all the supplies if you are wondering if you want to get it or you have it. It does come with the supplies. Oh, um, they're in my cabinet. My art cabinet. Yes, I do have an art supplies cabinet. I love doing artwork. Okay, that is done. I'm going to be using a lot of green. And as soon as this part dries, I will be putting other colors on top as little blossoms. Um, use yellow for a sun. But I don't have brown. This usually should take adult supervision, but you don't have to if you are an adult or you are a teenager, but I am only eight years old, so. But I have had very well experience. Should I put my apron on? Probably. Okay. 
Excuse me, guys. I don't know where the pack of them is. There's a pack of them somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Your apron's here. Right here. Well, just come. You can use three. Uh, here I am. Sorry. All right. Back to work. So I'm going to continue using this. I just. You didn't rinse it good and wipe it because look, you're getting green in there. I'm doing another layer of yellow so that you can't really see that green. Remember, you need to wipe it on your paper towel. Yep. So you don't mix the colors like I just did. See that yellow? The yellow has green on it. So remember, after you rinse your brush, remember to wipe it on a paper towel so you do not mix the colors. So, this video is almost over. I'm sorry. I am taking a I have only done two colors. This is quick dry and paint. Um... With a sprained back, a uh, sprained muscle on my back, I am doing pretty good. And it hurts to do this though. It hurts uh, pretty much a lot. Not too much though. Karina and Cookies Roll see how do you do this if you have had a sprain before? Did you continue painting or not? I need some advice. Should I stop doing this while I have the sprain or no? When I when my back is totally healed, should I start doing this again or no? Please tell me in the comments, please. No. Purple. I am almost done, guys. I have like two more bristles, but purple. Yeah, I had to figure out which color I was doing. If you do mix the colors, make sure that you do another lap of just that color, another coat, so that you can't see the other color in there. Oh, 